Hello everyone, welcome back to GetDroid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Battlefield 5 is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So this issue can be of many reasons and some of the possible workarounds I'll be showing you here, you can try this out. And the first one is all about you have to do a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this particular icon, go for a simple restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure that all the games in the files are verified and they are not corrupted because sometimes you know some uh, files might be corrupted that is why we are having these kind of issue so it is very important for us to make sure that the files are not corrupted for this we just need to do verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties now go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular end and this is very important that you have to keep in mind should not be skipping this part so we need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you once this is done i'll be showing you the next step
So once all these are done, you just need to try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. So this is what we have to do as the second step. If that is not working, we have to move to the next step. That is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go to install it file and just click on the browse. That will redirect you to the installation folder over here at the top. That is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam amps, common, battlefield 5. So this is what we have to do. And now from here, we have to launch the application. So this is the application. So try launch the game from here. And this might work, this may not work. It depends on to the people. But even for many users, when they launch the game from the installation folder, it worked rather than from the Steam. So you can try this out. There are two steps which I would like to show you over here. That is all about we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run it in the compatibility mode. So I'll be showing you both here. So right click over here and go to the show more options. Go to the properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program as administrator as the first one, go for apply and go for OK and see whether the issue is solved. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one that we have to run the game in the compatibility mode and go to the properties, compatibility mode, click on run this program in the compatibility mode and here we have to run this up. And that will be working fine as well. So just uh, go over here and go to apply and go for OK. And once after done, we just need to try launch the game once again and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about we have to make sure that you have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to go for settings. Now from here, go to time and language, go to date and time, make sure time zone, time and time automatically should be turned on. All these things should be turned on. We have to go back. Go to the language and region make sure that you have selected the correct country according to region so if you're from united states you have to select united states and if you're from any other country you have to select it accordingly so once you're done with this one and if you still have the issue try moving to next few more step and then one among this all about we have to launch the game and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so this even worked for many users, you just need to launch the game, press Alt and tab from the keyboard. So once afterwards, it might work because uh, not for everyone, but it can take a little bit of chances. There are few users who it worked for them. So just let's, let's say we have to take a possibility over here. And even if it's still there, we can move to the next one that we have to delete the saved game file. So we just need to go over here in the file explorer. Now go to this PC and navigate to documents. And over here, you have to find the folder of the game. So you'll be able to find the folder here or you can go to the my games and over here you will be able to find the folder. So you have to keep in mind when you delete this folder, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. That is very important. So just delete it. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back, try launching the game. Next one is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search. We have to go for control panel. Now go for system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow Napper feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Battlefield 5. So here somewhere else it will be added. So uh, most probably if the game is not added, you don't have to worry. You just need to keep scrolling down and you have to find it. So uh, most probably the game will be added and if you're having the issue with the game afterwards, you have to check. In most cases, sometimes, you know, the game will not be here. So if that is the case, we have to add the game by default by manually. Just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, go to Steam apps, go for common. Now from here, we have to navigate to battlefield over here for the battlefield select the application and go for open and we have to add it so once the game is added make sure both the private and both the public both has to be selected and if it is not selected you have to mark both once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of things so we might be connected with multiple monitors we might be connected with multiple controllers and all should be disconnected because uh, even for many users it work it so just disconnect everything and once you launch the game and you're in the game you can connect it back and try playing the game next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to go to system configuration go for services and we have to go for hide all microsoft services go for disable all 
and you have to go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. They're going to ask you for restart. So you need to go for restart and also you can exit without restart as well. Once afterwards, you can try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to go for disable the steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go over here and make sure it is uh, disabled. If it is enabled, you have to disable this because it's very important. And also you have to make sure that you have to give the command options command in the launch option which is the second, second step that we have to give the command the first command is dx11 you have to start with dx11 if dx11 is not working try with changing into dx12 so either the dx11 will be working or we have to try with dx12 any one of the things will be working fine and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine Next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the task manager. Now from here, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So there are actually 64 apps running in the background and all these things are actually draining out your performance. And that is why we are having the crashing issue. So just remove the unwanted things. For example, Discord, RevaTuner, MSA Afterburner, all these things can be removed from here. Once you remove this, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search and we have to search for graphics settings. Now from here what we need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to the game. So here it's already added. So if the game is not here we can add it by default. Just click on the browse. Now from here we have to navigate to this PC. Go to local disk C. Go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to battlefield so just go over here in the battlefield over here now open this and we have to add it so here it's already added so once after this just select this one go for option make sure this will be by default let windows aside change this to high performance and go for save once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game Next one is all about what we need to do is we need to move to the next step that is all about we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting tap on this one go for advanced and go for settings go to the advanced and go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local to see and go for custom size. Set the value to the initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here, go to the calculator and we need to type the RAM. So 32 GB is my RAM. So I have to type 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5. So that brings us 14 and 152. So just copy this value, paste here. Next one, the maximum size that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and set the value everything over here and now go back to the game try launch the game and you can see it is going to work or not next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure we have to update the windows so just go over here in the search and we have to navigate to settings now go for windows update over here and just make sure the up windows is up to date which is very important we have to run videos on up to date or else we'll be having a lot of trouble. So make sure Windows is up to date as well. And also you can try installing the graphics card or updating the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here and select everything like your product type. Product series should be selected and the product should be selected according to your configuration and the OS. If it is Windows 11, select Windows 11 and go for start search. Now from here once you go for start search, you will be getting a lot of options over here and for example, let me select this one, I forgot this, okay. Now we'll go for start search, you will be getting the uh, versions of available graphics card like this. Now from here you have to download 546.17 which is the driver version, you have to download this one, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and over here you can see, you have to select everything like this and we have to go for submit. Now from here, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can try downloading this one as well. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one, if you try installing the Microsoft Visual C++, as you can see, if the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. 
So once after done with this, most probably the issue has to be fixed. And even after trying with this, if you are still having the issue, you can try uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here and go to the manage and uninstall the game and you have to reinstall it back and it should not be back on the same local disk, you have to try a new local disk. And these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.